Australia's Bernard Tomic and Russia's Daniel Medvedev have been fined by the International Tennis Federation for unsportsmanlike conduct at Wimbledon. Tomic said he felt bored during his straight-set first-round defeat by Miskas Varuf on Tuesday, resulting in a fine of US $15,000 £11,581. Medvedev had a number of disputes with umpire Mariano Alves during his second round defeat on Wednesday and ended the match by throwing coins at her chair. He was fined $14,500, £11,200. World number 59 Tomic earned £35,000 for his 1 hour and 19 minutes on court. He also admitted he called for the trainer during the match, even though he was not injured to try to disrupt his opponent's momentum. I think I don't respect the sport enough, he said in a post-match interview. You know, I'm going to play another 10 years, and I know after my career I won't have to work again. Hours after the fine was announced, Racket sponsors Hedda said it would discontinue its relationship with Tomic, adding that the company is extremely disappointed with his post-match comments. Tomic has told Australian newspaper The Herald Sun he will appeal the fine. I was being honest, he said. People are saying the fine is for calling for the doctor, but it's not. I don't think the fine is fair. Medvedev, who upset fifth seed Stan Warrington on Monday, lost 6-4-6-2-3-6-2-6-6-3 to Belgium's Ruben Bemelmans, the 21-year-old who earned £57,000 for reaching the second round, led 2-0 in the decider but became angry at Alves' decisions as he lost five straight games and was docked a point by the umpire. After the match, he denied he was accusing Alves of bias by throwing coins, but that conduct cost him $7,500. £5,795. I was just frustrated, it has no meaning, I apologise, he said after the match. The remainder of Medvedev's fine was for two offences during the match, including being docked a point after a heated argument with Alves.